Hi, everybody. It's Brad Garrett. You're listening to Night Jews Radio. That's right. Press 5 on your touchtone phone if you want to feel like... Hey, we're back with Frank Nicotero, host of Yahoo TV's Prime Time in No Time. All right, Frank, do you want to watch this uh, dating video? Yes, with I want to. I'm staying around for the video. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Well, here it is. This is uh, something that uh, me and Travis watched uh, on our free time, actually, and we just couldn't stop watching it. So we we, <laughs> we decided to share it with all the viewers and uh, Frank Nicotero. So here it is. This is Trinita. She's looking for a date. looking for somebody to have fun with that's it um, I'm not into having a long-term relationship and I don't want to get married again ever well my profession is that I don't work okay and I love it because I get to take advantage of so many things and work sucks <laughs> my nickname is number one because I'm always the first person in line for everything well, my main thing is going to see free movies because I love movies, and why should I pay for something that I don't have to? My idea of hell is mm, that there wouldn't be any more freebies in town. <laughs> my idea of heaven would be to go out with as many hot guys as possible. <laughs> My best achievement is I made the Dean's List in 1979 at Temple University. I want to do um, voiceovers. I've been on the radio quite a bit, but I want to do it like as a part-time thing. Not to make money, but because I love hearing myself on the radio. If romance was like food, I'm a glutton because I am always hungry. And I'm hungry right now. <laughs> I love to eat. <laughs> Dream date. Gotta be somebody wild and crazy like myself. Nobody laid back. Somebody that likes to have fun. The worst thing that could happen on a date is that the guy is laid back and he doesn't, he's just not fun, okay? Because laid back, I mean, I don't have anything against laid back people, but they're just not fun. If I were to commit a crime, it would be a white collar crime because um, a white collar crime is cool. Because you have to be smart to do that kind of stuff. <laughs> if I was in the witness protection program, I would move to Denmark because they have the best looking guys. <laughs> you should date me because um, I'm not boring, I'm wild and crazy, and there's a possibility that we could have sex if you played a song closer by Nine Inch Nails. <laughs> <laughs> We, to we totally should have had Ivan queue up uh, closer by Nine Inch Nails. <laughs> yeah, that would have been awesome. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Trinita come running in the And in she the said studio. she loves hearing herself on the radio, guys. I think you have your guest for your next show right Perfect. Yeah. Well, you know, if you weren't married, we, we had her all set up for you. Yeah, too, to be so I, you. Actually, I saw <laughs> you know, Frank on camera frantically searching for his Nine Inch Nails CDs. <laughs> oh, I, I, could, I couldn't <laughs> see his hands. I probably hand. have it on my... Uh, I probably have it in my iTunes. I, you know, I couldn't, um, I couldn't see yeah, his that's, hands, that's which awesome. disturbed me even more. <laughs> but uh, well, the editor must have had a good time putting that package together. <laughs> that would be a fun time. Whoever's doing that. But uh, well, listen, I got to run, guys. I appreciate you having me on. And uh, we'll talk again soon, I hope. Uh, take care, and we'll see you soon. Thanks a lot. Uh, all right. Thanks, Frank Nicotero. Thanks, guys. You can also uh, check out Frank on franknicotero.com. And uh, check out his show on uh, Yahoo TV. It's called Primetime in No Time. And pick up his latest uh, digital download. It's called uh, That Street Smarts Guy by Frank Nicotero. So it's uh, Nicotero's N-I-C-O-T-E-R-O. -E and uh, just search that, Frank Nicotero, That Street Smarts Guy, and you could uh, get a little more of, um, you know, Frank's comedy. And hell, while you're at it, you know, why don't you why don't you search Sam Nicotero? Apparently, he's got some business going on too. Oh, and, Sam uh, Nicotero. And, by the way, the the name of that CD is Golden. That street smart guy. Uh, that that's the only way I know how to describe him to people to get them to bam click. Yeah, is, I is think that, he knows and, that. And it's that guy from Street Smarts. Yeah, it's that guy Frank. from Street Smarts. It's a perfect name for the CD. Well, Travis, that's what he's uh, most well known for. I understand that, Rob. Yeah, so, so. And I, I, I am just saying that I'm <laughs> showing my appreciation that the man used that and put it on, on the name of a CD since that's what he's known for. He's another guy who, who knows how to uh, have a little humor with himself. I appreciate that. Yes, he's brilliant.
Yeah, and that's that's the difference between you and him because you take yourself <laughs> way too serious. I do. Somebody cracks a joke about you, like you were beside yourself about the Mister Rogers sweater. Oh, I was. Which, yeah. by the way, my brother, I want to give him a little plug right now. Dave Wetstein, also known as Nicholas Wetstein, brought up the very important fact that in the first week, the very first week, the first show we did. It wasn't actually a Mr. Rogers sweater that Rob was rocking. It was Mr. Cosby, uh, Bill Cosby, <laughs> from, you know, obviously the Huxtables, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and it's perfect. you got to check out the first show again. Check out the first show again. We had Keith Chagall on the show. It was a wonderful show. But Rob had a, a shirt on, and, and I, I referenced Mr. Rogers, but it's totally, totally Bill Cosby from, the, from his show that he it had. Is. What it's the hell a, was that name? I was a little inspired by the Cos. It's called the Cosby Show. The right? Cosby Show, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. I, hey, very look, difficult, I, very hard stuff here, but it, it was. We should have played Street Smart with Travis, that would no. have been funner. Well, yeah, people <laughs> would have, people would have got a good, definitely a good <laughs> laugh. And that's the one thing I said. Look, I never promised I was smart. No, not at all. That's not why you had me on the show. No, well, obviously not. We didn't. We didn't have any. Now, uh, did uh, did you get to check out the uh, new show? Because the beans were were from around the Atlantic City area. Did you check out the uh, Boardwalk Empire show yet? I have no idea what you're talking about. No, but no. move on. Now, Ivan, have you seen Boardwalk Empire? Yeah. Yes, I have. What, what did you think of the show? I thought it was great. I think it's good. I think it's going to be uh, another HBO hit. HBO does everything good on Sunday nights. So. Yeah, I you know, after the first episode aired, Ivan, right. and they already picked it up for a second season already. Did they? Yes, wow. it's already been signed, and it's picked up for a second season. It's a, it's a cool show. If you like the gangster stuff, they show guys that their heads are getting shot off. Yeah. There's a lot of, like, you know, <laughs> they're, they're running booze illegally, and there's... You know, <laughs> excellent they prostitutes, whatever you want. What's whatever you know, whatever your interests are, they're all in that show. So, so using prostitutes, I'm into there. You know? I, I hate to, I, I hate to have to ask this, but is this a reality show? No. In this day and age, I, I have no, to ask it's, that question. It's, Travis, it's about uh, prohibition in the 1920s in Atlantic City. Oh, Rob would have, Rob would have committed suicide during prohibition. prohibition. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> He'd have been done. It's about Nucky, Nucky Thompson, right? Yeah, Nucky Thompson. It's played by uh, Steve Buscemi. Oh, you're both boring the sh out of me. And I did bleep myself that time, so thank you very much. <laughs> I'm good. Word up. All right. Well, uh, you know, I, Frank Frank bailed on us kind of early. Before we uh, wrap the show up, we got about seven minutes. Is there anything that you would like to talk about, Travis? No, besides the fact that this show is the bee's knees <laughs> and the cat's meow. And uh, w what's the website if they want to check it out? Actually, Rob just did what's some amazing website? updates to the website. Tell them the website. It's really, really <laughs> intricate. Travis, it's, it's, it's hard to remember, so really listen to Rob. I love how Travis doesn't know the uh, website. It's nightviewsradio.com. Haven't you all figured it out by now? I don't know anything. I just come here and I talk. Because Rob tells me to. I don't, you know. By the way, if you're creepy and lonely, please look up Travis on Facebook. His uh, last name is spelled W-E-T-T-S-T-E-I-N. <laughs> nice. <So. laughs> Very nice. I appreciate that. You know, uh, I, guess, I guess me being anonymous means nothing to you. Uh -huh. And um, also, I have a girlfriend, by the way, so don't look me up <laughs> if you're creepy and I, into somebody who's creepy. Ivan's ty typing me a message. He wants to talk about the Facebook controversy. Oh, Should right. we bring Patty on for this? No, Patty no, doesn't want to no, come over. No, My she'll, wife's kill you. <laughs> she'll kill you again. Yeah. Um, but no, the the comment was. Go ahead and tell them the comment. It's it's uh, it is. Look, I'll admit, even as a guy, and <laughs> in all defense to Rob, I will admit the comment would would cause some controversy. I know in my relationship, so it has to be across the board. Uh, well, you know, I didn't take it that way, but you know, I, you know, I'm a little slow. You gotta you gotta me. I gotta think things out. But uh, anyway, it, it was someone I worked with in Atlantic City. Uh, one of these uh, Russian foreign exchange uh, students came over, and uh, very, I guess she saw very politically correct. Go she, on. She requested she requested me on uh, Facebook and I accepted. A lot of th these uh, people that I work with, they look you up on Facebook and they request you. Uh, so I guess she played one of the shows here and she says, "Wow, the show was hilarious, but I like your voice in real life more." And my response was, "I didn't know that I had a different voice in real life." So I didn't even think like this girl is saying something inappropriate <laughs> right, to right. me. But uh, so so here's the big question because Rob was just gave a standard answer thinking it was a standard question. But when Patty read it, obviously she perceived it much <laughs> differently than that. Like, oh, your voice in real life is sexy. Don't know if I can say that or not. Um, and I want you sexy. <laughs> and, and so that's that's where we're at. We're at in that dilemma. We're we're in limbo here. We don't know whether whether Rob's right for thinking it was an innocent question or an, uh, excuse me, an innocent statement, or if Patty's right thinking that it was a provocative. Well, these statement. girls don't know much English, so I don't. I take everything they say with a uh, grain of salt. But oh, she's strong enough of a sentence together. Yeah, you can't, you can't <laughs> even put it on that, man. You can't even put it on that. Just because she's a foreign exchange student doesn't mean she can't speak English. But she's met Patty and. Uh, she the 
only other activity she's had on Facebook was liking pictures of me and Patty together. Oh, well, she won't be meeting Patty again. <laughs> Pat, uh, Patty if wants she to does, throw down. she's going to wake up in the hospital. Oh, jeez. Atlantic City Medical Center. Patty, are you ready to throw down with the Russian foreign exchange student? She said she don't have beef with her. <laughs> she says she don't have beef with her. What, what's the beef with me? Did I, right. What does she think I'm at work right. going? Hi. And that's you know what? And that's this is my work voice. <laughs> that's immediately my reaction was I said to Patty. I said I said Patty, remember <laughs> she made the statement, not Rob. But she just said she just said I'm right. not mad at her. You know what? And I'm great. We're to I'm glad we're talking about this because Amy does the same things to me all the time. <laughs> I can do He's nothing. Right. Listen, if in, 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 in all defense to myself and not to be conceited, but I've been. A perfect gentleman in our relationship, <laughs> and she's been mad at me about 450 times at I can't curse girls <laughs> saying things to me or I think you can say me. bitches. Yeah. Well, you know what? I'm not even. You know <laughs> yeah, what? I've had such it. a horrible night with that. I'm not even. I'm not even going to touch it. I think Patty thinks I'm at work talking. You know, like oh, I just dropped this pencil. Let me pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but <laughs> listen, if you want to weigh in on this subject, you can email us. And of course, I don't know. You know what you you email, don't know what so the email is. Uh, right now, it's chat about it at nightviewsradio.com. So uh, <laughs> you you can email responses, and we'll and we'll get them to you next week. Uh, actually, next week on the show, uh, one of uh, my favorite performers of all time, Bill Champlin, is going to be on the show, and he's going to be doing. Uh, he's going to be v with us via video Skype, and also Tamara. I, I consider them both friends now, and uh, they're going to be doing. Uh, uh, some acoustic numbers for us live here on the show. Yeah, B Bill and Tam are going to be on. We had them once before. They're great people. Excellent, excellent song songwriters and uh, musicians in their own right, each of them. And uh, he's going to do an amazing song that a lot, a lot of people loved. In it was. It was actually in 1990. It was the number one song on the billboards. Uh, he was with a band, uh, Chicago at the time, and it was called Look Away. Mm -hmm. And he actually mm -hmm. redid it for his solo album, a, an acoustic version. And that's the version he's going to... Uh, that he's going to play on the show. That's excellent because that's one of my fa mo you know, most favorite Chicago songs. And d don't get me wrong, if you don't know it, your mother will, so definitely tune in. You'll have something to relate <laughs> with your mother to, and it's going to be a great time. Hold Bill Champlin is an excellent musician. Tamara is an excellent musician. They are. They're going to both be on the show. They're both going to be performing, and we got you. We got to get you out here next week. Yes, it's going to be next Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 6 p.m. Pacific Time. And Ivan, what is Hungerthon? You said uh, I thought that I remember hearing that they did some kind of charity work with Hungerthon. Oh, I, I could be wrong. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm well, I'm l take a look <laughs> at our website. We'll, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll get as much information on Hungerthon that we can. Check out our <laughs> website. You can look into Ni Frank Nicotero. Go to Hungerthon.com. I don't know what it is, but just go to it. <laughs> Do it. It's, it's got to be something. Everything's something these days. But, uh, you know, check out our website. we got great slick information. Michelle Mangione, mm -hmm. Frank Nicotero, mm -hmm. on and on and on and on. Check yes. out the website, www.nightviewsradio.com. Yes, nightviewsradio.com. And you can uh, find our Facebook fan page on there. Show archives about the show, uh, uh, upcoming events on the show. Keep your uh, eyes uh, open for nightviewsradio.com for all the upcoming events with Night Views. And we'll see you next Thursday. We have Bill and Tamara Champlin. Uh, good night, all, and we'll see you next week. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Have you ever wanted your...